Brand new Fox News polling asked people about how they feel about what's going on on our southern border. Keep in mind, for the most part, Joe Biden has made it really easy to come into the country. 34% say it's an emergency. 45% say it's a major problem. Add that up. Eight in 10 Americans say it's a mess. That number is up 8% from August. And uh, in the same poll, 67% of Americans say they would support deporting those who are in this country yep. illegally. 58% say let's use the military. And 54%, I'm surprised it's not bigger, only 54% say build the wall. Yeah, I mean, you can't get 8 in 10 Americans to agree on just about anything, and they agree on this issue. Look at this. This is uh, a, a lot of illegal immigrants. They are lining up against a, a train, and there's, there's news about these train cars uh, today because the United States and Mexico are working together to shut down some train lines because so many illegal immigrants are hopping on trains illegally in Mexico. They're hopping on the top of the cars, which is very dangerous. They're coming into the United right. States that way because it sure beats walking. So this is a obviously a major issue. The president ran on opening the border. He sure did. And now we are feeling the effects. But, but how about how many Democrats are not on board with the president's policies? How about the governor of Arizona, the Democrat, coming out and saying the federal government has failed. Now you have to use National Guards. How about the senator from Pennsylvania saying nobody can handle a population the size of Pittsburgh coming in every single month? It does not make any sense. How about an aspiring congressman who wants to be the next senator from Arizona, Democrat, saying the same thing? And how tone deaf is the Castro brothers, congressman and former cabinet secretary, saying it's racist for President Biden to entertain any change in asylum laws and crack down on the border, uh, Lawrence? How crazy is that? And Senator Menendez, the disgraced New Jersey senator, also saying the same thing about President Biden potentially cracking down on the border. Well, it's tone deaf. Uh, they're not listening to the American people. But, Brian, we can't forget, remember when this was all first talked about, it didn't matter. But when Governor Greg Abbott started sending the migrants to all the sanctuary cities, suddenly it became an emergency for everyone else. So I guess that is, that is the secret sauce now. If you want liberal cities to acknowledge a problem, then you got to make them feel your pain. I hate it has to be that way, but you don't want to hear from me. You want to hear from the American people. I'm going to get the mic from Tim and Nate the Great. Let's go find some folks. So I was talking to these folks at the back row right here about immigration. Um, meet some of my new friends here. So this new polling, talking about immigration, is one of the top issues now facing American people. Um, some have even suggested they want more force on the border. Where do you stand on Absolutely. It's a major invasion of what's going on at our southern border, and I totally support having more forces down there and more troops there to protect us. Yes, ma'am. Uh, who, who do you think is the best candidate to solve the problem at the border? Trump. Absolutely. He solved it when he was in office. And then Biden comes into office, and he just takes away everything that Trump had. And now look at what we have. We have an invasion at our border. I don't know how our country can sustain all the people that are there. We're going to be bank. I mean, we're going to be bankrupt. Where are we putting these people? It's crazy. It's backyard. just crazy. <laughs> they are going to be knocking on my door. I'm sure of it. Thank you, ma'am. Um, a lot of these Democrat cities, even New York City, they were totally OK with the migrants coming until they started coming to their city, being shipped there. They're absolute hypocrites. And these people are causing us tons of money. Our taxes will be going up to support them, as this young woman said. And as I also suspected, I think our voting system is going to be compromised because I can't tell you how many people that can't speak English are voting. No one's policing that. A lot of people are asking questions about that. Sir, you serve. Thank you so much for your service. A lot of folks, we're investing a lot of money with the illegal migrants that are coming across. But what about the military? Well, this is a time of year the military is basically forgotten. We have our people overseas. They are protecting us overseas, and Joe is turning around and using them as fodder. He is not protecting our military. And this is the time of the year that they're away from their families. They would love to be with their families. Instead, they're protecting us overseas, and this man is a piece of... <clears throat> Well, thank you for pausing there so we didn't have to beep you. One last person. Ma'am, we were talking. You say, look, I know a lot of people in here support the former President Trump. 
but you wish he would be a little nicer. Tell me what you meant by that. Yes, I, I'm going to be very controversial in this in this crowd. Um, I I like Donald Trump. I think he was a great president. I love his policies. I wish he would try a little bit harder to get along with people. Um, he can be nasty sometimes. Um, I'm very outspoken myself, and I love the fact that he's outspoken. Um, I, I think he, I, I wish he would be a little bit more amenable to getting along with people. That's it. What about you, sir? Yeah, stand on this issue. I uh, I kind of agree. I think he has good policies. Obviously, had a good uh, past administration, and we're definitely in need of bringing change back to the country. So uh, I feel the same way. You were telling me also that there's a lot of Americans that are saying, with this mess, whoever is the nominee, that's who you're going to vote. That's correct. I mentioned to you that for me, my candidate was Tim Scott. I'm hoping that Tim Scott is a VP candidate, but I think based on the policies of the current administration, we definitely need a change. The Republican candidate definitely has my vote. Thank you so much. Sir. So, as you can see, by the way, this woman is brave because this, this diner is dominated by Trump supporters in here. <laughs> But the former president is watching this show as he does every morning, and they're asking, she's asking, if he can just be a little nicer. She likes the policies, but just be a little nicer, Mr. Trump. 